Reunited and it feels so good. No, that's probably bad. Definitely not a mic drop moment for me, but anyway, I am reunited and it does feel so good though to be reunited with this amazing paint color that I recently refound. It's a rare paint color. It's hard to find and it took some super sleuthing for years for me to find it and I finally found I'm so excited. So I'm going to share it with you. And even if you don't care about this particular paint color, I'm going to share with you how I found it. So you can find your favorite paint colors too, if you need to, or research your paint colors. It's really awesome. My love affair with this paint color is an electric blue paint color. It all began when I painted in Peacock Shadows. So that should give you a hint what paint color I'm talking about. And back in the day, it was called Peacock Blue. Now, before you get too excited and say, I know a Peacock Blue. Yes, I know there's lots of, there are several Peacock Blues out there, but they don't have this pigment in them. Yes, it's called PB, which is P stands for P and B stands for blue. And it's pigment blue 17 that I like that is so electric blue. It's dazzling, almost too dazzling, but it's just right. Back in the day, it was made by Holbein. They called it Peacock Blue. And then they discontinued using PB17 in that paint color that they had named Peacock Blue, and they renamed it something like Iroquois, Turquoise, or something like that. And then that was their PB17 paint, and their Peacock Blue became a mix of something else, and it just wasn't as bright. The Iroquois was still really great, and then they discontinued that. And then they didn't make any paint with PB17 ever again. <laughs> And so there were a couple manufacturers. There was one manufacturer, Paul Rubens, who, as far as I know, they still make a PB17 blue in that palette, but I don't want the palette. I just want my PB17 the way I want it, in a tube. And it was thanks to the website that I shared a couple weeks ago, artistpigment.org. So because I found that website, I was able to click on PB17, and they are this extensive database of not just watercolor, but oil and acrylic and colored pencil and so many different mediums and so many different manufacturers. They even cover small time Etsy sellers that are making pigments in their dining room. <laughs> they cover so many paint manufacturers. It's mind boggling. So you can click on a hot link where you see PB17 or any other pigment click on it and it will take you to all the manufacturers and all their formulations, either where they mix it with another color or it's that pure color. And I found a lot of paint colors had PB17 mixed with them, but I just wanted pure PB17 and I found it. And long story short, it was made by Rockwell out of Canada and I will link them below. I also did an extensive tutorial using their evolving paints. Let me see. These are their self evolving watercolor line and their super granulating gorgeous paint colors that I used to paint my peacock painting a few years ago. So if you are interested in seeing that tutorial, it's a start to finish tutorial on my Patreon along with over a hundred other tutorials. But this particular painting, I used their whole set. It's several paint colors and I swatched them out. So there's some very pretty colors that granulate out just gorgeously. And so um, that's that. But I went back to Rockwell and they have this named Sky Blue. It's pure PB17. So did I buy that within a blink of an eye? Yes, I did. <laughs> and I needed it because I started this new painting. It's actually these two kids playing on a beach. And just a real quick, sweet story. These two kids stole my heart. They're so inspiring because this little girl in this painting was afraid of the waves. And she had a couple boys just protecting her for hours. They would be right next to her with their arm around her or right next to her. They never left her side for hours. There was always one of these boys playing with her and making her feel safe and secure. And it was the best thing to just, I just was mesmerized and very inspired. They make great muses. And those beautiful colors of the ocean were right behind them and just set off so beautifully against their brown skin tones just gorgeous contrast too. So artistically, it's a beautiful photo reference and inspirationally, it's just a beautiful thing to paint their story. 
And it was so perfect that I was able to find this paint because I started this painting with a tiny little crappy little tube of half dry PB17 paint, the Iroquois Holbein that I had left over. Like I just had a little squeeze left. So I was making the background really light. And then as I was painting that painting, um, which took a few weeks, I discovered this website and discovered this paint color. So I was able to finish this painting with a lot more bold blue in the background because I found this PB17. So thank you so much, artistpigment.org. And I was so excited. So anyway, I just wanted to share this amazing paint color. I, I would recommend it. I love it. I'm not sure what palette in the Paul Rubens palette it's available but if you go to artistpigment.org type a search in they have a little search bar you can put pb17 click and make sure you've got watercolors chosen and it will take you to all the manufacturers that make pb17 and rockwell is one of them and they are based out of canada so anyway i hope all that was really helpful in some form or fashion whether you want this particular color which is impossible to duplicate any other way, also mixed with yellow, it makes like this gorgeous neon green, which Daniel Smith Permanent Green Light looks very similar to the color that you can mix if you mix this with lemon yellow. It's like a screaming, young, warm green. It's amazing. <laughs> so anyway, it's a fun color to play with and I would highly recommend it. And anyway, I hope that helps. I don't wanna keep rambling, so I'm gonna say goodbye. Come join my Patreon for free. You can follow me for free. You can follow me for free on my community tab. You can join my Facebook group and share your paintings. I comment on every single painting that gets posted there if I see it, which I make a point to see it. So you can post your paintings there. It's a great community and I will put a link here. Come join my Facebook group for free. I'd love to see you there. And until next time, go watercolor your world. Bye everybody.